Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna teach you three DIY lighting setups to film yourself via webcam or camera. Alright guys, today I'm gonna teach you a couple of different lighting setups because I've noticed that with the quarantine, everybody is going live or they're doing vlogs or they're doing Zoom calls for work. And what I've noticed is you guys are dealing with a lot of terrible light, as you may have realized. So today I'm gonna teach you how to get a decent shot, like the one I have here, with basic household items like a clamp light, some tape, and some paper. Now a lot of you are saying, Matt, this is overkill, I'm just doing a Zoom call, or I'm just filming myself or going live, and I totally get that, this is not for you. But there's a lot of people out there that say, why do I not look how I look in camera and how do I make myself look better since I'm constantly doing zoom calls and having to be on camera during the quarantine I'm just trying to help you do that you may notice from the shot that I've got a light hitting me and it's hitting pretty much all of my face this part right here is a little dark uh, and that's because I've just got the one light over here. Now what I'm using over here, and I'll show you in just a minute, is your average desk lamp that clamps on. Maybe your kid has it in his room, maybe you have it in your office. If not, you can use a clamp light like this that I got from Lowe's for $10 and a light bulb that I picked up there as well. Uh, just clamp that somewhere, whether it be off to the side to get a more dramatic angle and give you some texture and kind of slim your face out a bit or if you just want to put it right behind the camera shining down on you or webcam I know a lot of you guys are filming from your computer uh, this is a great way to light yourself now with that you want to take a piece of paper this is where the paper comes in and diffuse the light that way you're not getting a harsh light on you like you can see and you put a little piece of paper over it and it diffuses it. I just did a video on this if you wanna watch how I did that. Uh, but literally just take a piece of tape. I've got gaff tape, you can use scotch tape, you can use masking tape, you can use paint, painter's tape. Just tape a piece of paper over it. Now what you'll also see that I did is that I set up the shot, whether it be your camera or your computer, to create angles and leading lines that point to me. You can see that the desk and this, can I point, this right here leads straight to my face. And this leads straight to me, the chairs lead to me, the, even the, the lines in the background, they all lead straight, directing your attention straight to my face, which is where people need to be looking when you're on camera. Not something you necessarily have to do, but something to think about. If you're gonna be quarantined for a while and you're gonna be on Zoom for a while, might as well make it look as good as possible, right? You'll notice that I turned off all the other lights in the house, and that's because I'm using a day balance bulb. Um, mainly because the you're probably not going to be able to close all of your windows during the day uh, and you want your light to match what's going on outside. So turning off all the other lights and just using your one main light and it being day balanced is the best bet for you. I'll show you what it looks like to just have on the regular lights and the difference between the two. As you can see, this creates a really washed out but blown out look it doesn't really show any shape to your face and doesn't really give a good image one of the main things with lighting is controlling the light and getting the light to do what you want and some of that is just matching with what's going on outside speaking of daylight i'm going to show you our next option option number two and probably the easiest is just to sit close to a window you might have seen me do this in other vlogs where i film myself next to a window right next to me right here is three giant windows and i've just got the natural daylight shining against me again i've set up an angle so that you get the lines i can't do this very well get the line right here and the line right here pointing directly at my face which is where i want you to look it also causes the light to hit you in a way that still causes a little shadow over here and doesn't make your face look flat but gives you a little depth and texture and just makes you look better now you can also just set it up to where the window is 
directly behind the camera shining straight onto your face and just lights your whole face up, gives a nice clean look, but then you're showing your messy kitchen and everything else behind you and I just don't want to do that. But it's a viable option. Okay, so my last option for you guys, <clears throat> and this is just three, there's so many options, but my last option is maybe it's the end of the night and you just want to talk to a loved one on you know zoom or skype or whatever they're using now or your iphone face chat whatever i don't know uh a nice soft cinematic look really is just to sit by the lamp by your couch i've got a lamp right here i can bring it closer if i want more light on me and then just pull the image in or i can leave it right out there uh, Again, I did the lines, but you don't need to do that because you're just talking to your sister in Idaho, but I think you get the point. Um, but these are just three simple options to light yourself better for your Zoom calls or your uh, Facebook Lives or whatever you're doing to stay sane in this quarantine. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. If this helped you, leave a comment below. Also, let me know what you're doing to light yourself. What you don't like about this video, what you did like, what you took away from it. I'll leave all of that in a comment below. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell, and I will see you in the next video.